here is your dad. I try to understand and I try to put that in my life. And sometimes I'm looking in some place somebody with a photography. My first question is, well, first, I'm not part of the group. If I'm not part of this group, I need to know who's the leader. And I start asking, hey, who's the boss here? And everyone in that group, they know exactly who's the boss, or who's the leader. And they told me, okay, this is the person. He is the leader. Then I know exactly what I need to do and with whom. That's the same situation with God in this moment. Hey, when you're looking for somebody to take care of you, let me introduce. He is your God. Don't look in another places. Don't look in another person. He is your God and is going to send somebody to take care of you. Now we have cleared the picture. Yes, we are one now. We are only human beings. But he sent Jesus Christ to die for you and for me. And at the same he declares, hey, I am your God. Amen? Amen. But it's only the beginning. It's only the beginning. It's only the beginning of this big picture. How God is going to take care of us? That's the next question. We have a need, somebody to take care of us. God supplied that through Jesus Christ and with his presence when he said, hey, here's your God. But how he will do that? Or how he is doing that? Right now, today, as the preacher last Sunday said, is now. It's not tomorrow, it's now. How God is doing that? And the last verse of the Isaiah, Thank you, brother. You're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. He tends his flock like shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have joy. Okay. God is really clear. We are his creation, right? And because we are his creation, we are equal in God's presence. Amen? Amen. But also, it's really clear about the diversity. That's why when he's saying he's going to do that work, thank you. Like shepherd. Is a person who knows how many how many sheep have and what ages and what differences. Some of them they are lambs. They need a special care. Some of them they are mothers and they are nurtured the lambs. And he worked with them gently. But the others, they are not obedient. And he's strict with that. He do justice. Again, God sent a shepherd. Somebody who will really take care of you and me. He knows exactly what we need, what we need. He knows exactly our pain our frustration, our misunderstandings, our prejudices, everything about us, everything. And God is not judging us, but he's sending us to take care of you and take care of me with justice and with love. There's nobody who's going to tell you, hey, you are a sinner and you're going to hell. He's going to, have to take you and embrace in, in his arms. And he's going to, have to tell you, hey, don't worry. I'm 
taking care of you. Don't worry. I'm here for you. God sent me to you. Amen? Amen. You know, it's great news. It's great news. It's a possibility to be here because God loves you and God loves me. It's to understand in, in order to be humble, hey, we are nothing. We are only grass. We have a, a really short period of life. The only eternal is our God. That's why we need to recognize no matter what is the situation, God is in control. No matter what happens if we face death, well, praise the Lord. Because God is here. Amen. You really believe that? You know, let, uh, let me tell you, today I'm really impressed this morning. Because sometimes we say we believe, but sometimes we are not ready to give example of that, or give testimony of that belief. When we have a pain really inside of us, we believe we are the only one who suffers and we center in ourselves. That's the human reaction. The disciple reaction is, no matter the situation, no matter somebody die, we praise God. Because he's in the presence of God. At the funeral of uh, my sister Dolly uh, Monroe, they asked me, what about all this? We need to remove it because it's a funeral. You know, that's the best opportunity to praise God because we are announcing, hey, Jesus is here. That's the best background. The best. And when I say God is here, I remember what happened in Thanksgiving. Lunch. 102 people. When I say God is here, oh yes, there by night we have a great crowd of people in the children's years. God is here. But at the same time, this morning when I arrived, I saw Melvin Jackson here with us. You know what? His mother is dying. Any moment. And he's here. Sir, help him. And doing testimony with his life. As a message from God to you and to me. God is here. Why? It's painful for him? Yes, of course. But we have a home, and he has a home. God is in control. If his mother died, what happened? He's, she's going to be in heaven, eternal life. But with his presence today, God is sent us a strong message. A disciple, in a humble way, serving a social, is telling us God is here. Amen? Amen. Amen.